so now we're testing the polarity of this ball, okay, and mainly we're still working on this P1 circuit here. So before we start, as always, making sure there's no power, because we're going to be connecting to the actives, and we definitely know there's no power on the P1 circuit, it's switched on there, there's no power going through, so that's all good. So now, once again, disconnect the AMI end. And we've got this special device here. And if I test between the active on this, let's see what I get. Let me just put my screwdriver in my pocket. So I test between the active. I get a reading of about 10.4 ohms. And if I test between my neutral now, hit this one more time, I get a reading of about 5 ohms, 5.2 ohms. So now, if I connect this here, I should get those same readings when I touch my active and neutral at the power point. Confirming that my active is an active, my neutral is a neutral, and my earth is an earth. And you can see here we can connect it straight to the buzz bar, the red buzz bar, the neutral bar, and the earth bar, because they all come back to this one spot here. So now I'm going to connect that to there, and I should get the same readings. So now if I go to my active, I think it was about 10.4. So here I've got about 10.8. So with the resistance of the circuit, that is definitely my active. Now, if I go to the neutral, 5.4, which when we take into consideration the resistance of the circuit, that is definitely my neutral.